going on everybody this is coach here at y for turbo and we are playing some nhl 18 32 team expansion mode gm mode uh, but we're going to be doing a little bit different today than our typical gm i wanted to get a parallel series i know i've been talking about this for a while we're going to be doing the 32 team expansion i also think we might be doing a fantasy gm series so there's going to be a ton of gm content coming out and coach is going to lead us through it I've decided since it's October, let's start a Halloween themed team. The Alaska Ghouls are coming to the NHL. Look at this criminal wardrobe. Looks like a jailbird there. The away is pretty simple. I didn't really do much to that. And then the alt is like super weird with blue and it's got Alaska with some bear. It had to have a bear. I don't know why it didn't let you put your logo there instead. Whatever, it's fine. Um, but I think it'd be cool to make an Alaska team, you know, and uh, it's uh, it's just one of those uh, things that came to mind. And I think it'd be pretty cool. You can see the arena here looks pretty cool. That huge scoreboard. I've done a lot of cool effects. Oh, yeah, we have a mascot. I figured since it's the ghouls, we'll make this little ghoul dude. He's number six, six. There wasn't an option for a third six named ghoul boy. So, man, coach is excited for this. I've seen nothing after this. I haven't done any of the expansions. So if we got to wait around and the league has to do whatever, I'll just cut it here. But if we're still with it. Um, yeah, okay. So it looks like just normal at this point, And we just have to, to go on from here. So let me put all this info in. Uh, pick the team. And then if it has us do the uh, expansion draft, we'll jump there. So we'll cut it right here. Okay, going to cut it right in here for a second. The Alaska Ghoul is here. It looks like we've got um, a team in the AHL already set up. And our arena, I forgot. It's called the Haunted Mansion. I love it. That's so cool. 18000 in that arena. Looks like we've got a good team budget going. Uh, so, yeah, let's go with that. Um, customized AHL team for the expansion. Uh, let me go into this real quick, and if it's fine, it's fine. But if not, I'll make some changes, and I'll show you guys. All right, well, we did it. Uh, all I really did with the AHL team, uh, they were called the Burnaby Aces. I changed them to the Anchorage Aces. There's some alliteration there. And I changed one of their alternate logos to be the pumpkin, but in their team colors, which is like gold and red. So just to make a little continuity we changed it to that they're in anchorage so there's not a huge expanse between them and us we're probably both in anchorage i i don't know alaska is a big place but there's not a lot of big cities other than like anchorage and what Ju juno juno's kind of big but i couldn't find juno on the uh on the old ea sports uh map or list or whatever it was so here we are um i've i've not even watched any gm modes that other youtubers have done with the expansion draft uh so it looks all the same except there's an expansion draft obviously <laughs> so we have nobody under contract on the ghouls let's get to the expansion draft see what happens uh welcome to the alaska ghouls you have your plate full for the expansion draft uh touch base in a few days after the draft to get a sent okay that's fine um okay salary cap Cool. So we do have to keep that in mind. We don't want to sign anybody to crazy contracts. And, uh, okay, it looks like we have the fourth pick in the NHL draft right in front of Vegas. So we could probably get... We could get somebody good. Um, that'll be nice to start building this up because we're going to have... What? Sinks are... Okay, yeah, this it'll be fine. They, they're just really worried. Um... Yeah, fourth pick. We're going to do this all in this episode. And uh, then next episode, we can get into maybe free agency to address our concerns. But I feel like this is going to be just like the... Okay, here we go. I feel like it's just going to be very similar to like a Vegas Knights franchise. You just kind of want to take it easy the first couple of years. Maybe finish near the bottom of the league. Get some good picks in the next couple of years and then go for it. Um, I would be surprised if we're able to put together a really good team. I'm going to try to be as competitive as possible. I'm not going to make it boring for you guys, but I do want to maybe pick up some prospects in this expansion or people that are a little on the younger side rather than going for crazy picks that are, you know, going to be 
just good now or in the next five years. It's just, it doesn't make any sense. Um, but then again, this is a little bit different than something like the real NHL where they were making trades beforehand to not take certain players. That's not really how it works in this one. So if we do sign somebody that's going to be good in the next two to three years, as in someone like a James Neal or something like that, we could just put them on the trade block at trade deadline, trade for a pick or something. So that's what it can kind of become. We could trade it maybe even back to the team we got them from. So that's what I'm kind of viewing right now. Maybe I should have looked more into it, but I'm excited to kind of do it. If it doesn't work out, you guys can always help me and it'll just be a longer rebuild. You know what I mean? So but let's try to do it right now. All right, the expansion draft. You will have one player. You'll have to select one player from each NHL team. Yep, total of 30 players. Uh, okay, so we're not selecting from Vegas, I guess. Uh, draft a minimum of 14 forwards, nine defensemen, three goalies. That shouldn't be an issue. Um, we just got to make sure some goalies that work out come up. Um, but can't really plan for it at this point. Make a selection uh, so we can actually go back and forth between the teams. Okay, this actually works. And, uh, yeah, this is just the uh, the side panel. Oh, nice. So we can go to each individual team. So let's just go through and take a look. Oh, I might have to make this pick now. Yeah, I, get, I know this. So can I go back? And not? Okay, cool. Okay. Let's see who's available here. Vatanen is probably going to be... A good selection. Four years left at about five mil. We want to remember that. Um, I feel like that. I mean, this Manson guy looks pretty good, actually. Defense, he's 25. Vatnin's 26. But then again, you know, that could be someone that could be traded, possibly, or something of that nature. Let's see if they've got any goaltenders. Yeah, Bernier. Okay, yeah, we're probably not going to go for any of that. Um, this might be the team we just grab a defenseman from. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting Manson because he is a year younger, so he potentially has about two years left uh, if he just turned 25 to grow. And I think maybe he might take over Vatanen. Not 100% sure, though. That's a really hard one. Man, remember when Edom was, like, marked as elite back in, I think, 2015? That'd be nice. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with either Vatnin or Manson. Which isn't an issue. I mean, both would be great picks. Um, Vatnin, good for right now. But Mason, you know, potentially for the future. So, we'll, we'll come back to that. I can't spend as much time on each team, I feel like. Because uh, I am, you know, not under a, a watch or a clock or anything. But, you know, we don't want this going super long. Uh, Burmistroff, top nine. We could get Tenorti, who's a medium top six defensive defenseman. Uh, but if we get Manson from the other team, it would kind of undermine that. That's kind of the only thing I'm thinking about uh, when it comes to grabbing too many defensemen. We don't want to necessarily be like the Golden Knights did with way too many, you know. Um, Burmistroff, who's the top overall? Yeah, so there's not really much available here, but we could grab somebody um, like Tenorti or, or Burmistroff or something like that just to kind of help out. Um, but Arizona's probably not going to be the well that we got to go to to get some good talent. Yeah, really nobody here either. Mm. I mean, we could always just pick potential guys or just go by, you know, we could get like McQuaid, which is a, a movement chip, a piece to move. Um, oh, okay. I, I think I'll go with Subban, actually. I know he's sometimes a, uh, a bust in this game, but he could be a good, you know, we might just pick him up right now. I think he'd be a good bargaining chip at the trade deadline in the next couple years or even this year. Um but, I mean, this is what kind of worked out with with Vegas, too. But they ended up getting him later. So, yeah, let's just pick him, actually. So, we got our first goalie. That's pretty good. Um, oh, can we go? Can we actually go back and do a different pick? Well, that's interesting. Okay, let's go to Buff. 
see what they have available. This might be a long one, guys, so I, I'm not really sure here. Bogosian would be pretty cool, actually. Like a two-way guy, right? Two-way defender. I mean, he's going to cap off, but it's it's just one of those things. Uh, Kulikov is pretty undervalued. I should have edited the, uh, the rosters a little bit before I did this um, to make a couple guys a little better than they actually are. Any goaltenders? Not really. I mean, this team might be not the best <laughs> as I'm seeing what's available. Um, I mean, Stone's pretty good in real life. But that's the thing, you know, once these guys kind of cap off, it's really difficult to uh, get anything else out of them. You get Smith for a starter. But... Yeah, there's just a couple. So I'm just, I'm actually just going to go. Oh, it sucks that it goes back to the beginning. Okay, Carolina. I got to remember this now because it keeps resetting for some reason. Okay, more top nine guys. Okay. I'm seeing Nestrasil. Okay, not bad. I hate how it goes back like that. That is more than annoying. Let's see who's available here. Um, okay, Polka. Yeah, I think that's going to have to be the pick. That's just a big... A lot of growth available for this guy. Really, Polka. Right-handed, 2AD. Medium top four potential. What about goaltenders here? Fringe starter. Yeah, we don't we don't need that if we're going to get uh, Polka. I'm just going to pick up Polka right now. That just looks like one of the best uh, picks we're going to get potential-wise. Okay, um, here's a high top six in Galenus we could uh, possibly trade away. Oh, I'm sorry. I say Galenus. It's Jelena, right? Right, guys? Sorry. Um, yeah, Sven got a, uh, a little bit of a boost. He used to just be AHL top six, and uh, he's been doing pretty well. So I think maybe that last uh, update got him back to bottom. Six forwards, that's pretty good. Um, that might actually be a good signing there. We could also get Nieto, um, top medium, top nine. That might actually be better um, because I think Jelena, I think he's going to cap off. Yeah, so that might be a good one. Um, actually, Nieto might be a better pick. Two-way guy, can play top nine, two more about two more years of growth yeah let's just pick him up that'll be a good one i know high potential guys are probably better to go after if we want to trade them but you know how it is guys let's see here jack johnson that'd be cool just kind of get a leader on the team um josh anderson a right wing grinder who's always already a third liner that might be kind of cool kind of a different play on the uh yeah that might be kind of cool i don't know i, I really like grinders i, I don't want to necessarily get a bunch of defensemen because uh, uh quite a few with pretty good potential already available and i think jack johnson would kind of be already 30 years old with that salary i know it's two years left he could be a good trade asset actually um anderson with one year left um, it would be cool, but I feel like we could trade for him for very little. So if we got Johnson or something and Columbus is getting up, it just sucks. I don't want to necessarily sign these guys, but we'll come back to it. So it's either Johnson or that grinder kid. All right, let's see what's available now. This is slow going, but it's kind of fun. I, I like going through it slowly and checking it out here. Um, I actually didn't look at defensemen, or uh, sorry, goaltenders on the Blue Jackets, so I'll go back in a second here. Yeah, check this out. So there's a few defensemen here we could probably uh, sign here. Uh, another defensive guy in the Namath, another defensive guy. could sign either of those two. I think that would probably be a better bet than getting like McNeil or something like that. Ah, it just sucks because there's so many uh, 
so many defensemen available that are just kind of on the cusp. They're not necessarily like, oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, an elite goalie. Yeah, that, that kind of takes it. 23 elite, medium elite. We'll just have them as backup right now. Yep. I'm doing it, guys. Because Malcolm Subban can play in the AHL if need be, but can't come around a medium elite and uh, push him to the side. Even though he's 23, he can get up to the mid to late 80s, uh, especially in the next three years, if we play him at his position. Um, okay, we looked at the stars. I'm going to have to come back to them and fill some gaps. And uh, let's see here who we can get from my favorite team, the Red Wings. Not really much. We could sign Abby or, or Helmer here. That's just a bad contract, though, for Abdicator, so I wouldn't want to do that to us. Um, pretty bad contract for Glenn Denning as well. Oh, my God. Guys, I should have made Ferk really good, and they would have protected him. I always forget to edit the roster because Ferk, I, he should be at least like top nine forward or something. His potential at AHL top six is ridiculous. He has a monster shot, and he's doing nothing but good things. How much would Detroit fans like it if I took Erickson? Oh, man. Uh, Sproul might be a good answer here. But let's see if they've got any... Uh... Yeah, no, I'm not taking Howie in that contract. I mean, three years left, not bad, but I don't, I don't think I want it. Would be kind of cool, though, Howard, and then have a you know because he'd be the solidified starter and then our elite goalie backup wouldn't be too bad so i'll have to come back to this um none of these are necessarily super bad and i thought mitch callahan was top nine so maybe maybe my scouting just isn't that good or something but sproll or actually will looks a little bit better that's another defensive defenseman though we, do we really want to sign another defensive defenseman because right now we've got Okay, we've only got Poca, but there's a few other teams that have players that are just available, you know, that would only be worth taking that are, you know, just defensive defensemen. Pitlick is high top nine, right winger. Yeah, he's a fourth liner, two way guy. It's just his stats just don't look really there yet. This guy, bottom. God, guys, I'm going to butcher this. Is it Kaira? Kaira? Um, might be kind of cool. Center power forward. He could definitely play down in the AHL for the first year or two. And he's only 22. You know, he's bottom six, but that could be power forward center, like the third line center of the future. That could be pretty cool. Remember Lander was uh, considered like top six in EA? I do. Let's see if there's any goaltenders. Yeah. Not looking good on that, and um, I'm thinking maybe Pitlick might just be a better option. 76 overall. He could, you know, high top nine, he could be a good uh, trade asset. High bottom six, though, wouldn't be too bad, especially if he grows a little bit, but, you know, top nine is better. It's just his age that frustrates me. Uh, he's got a decent shot for, like, his overall, but he's pretty physical. You know, maybe we could deal with this. Maybe we could deal with him and have him on the fourth line. See what happens this year. And then next year, just ship him off if we needed something else. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Because that I know this guy, high bottom six, we could probably get a little bit better out of. Ah, that's so tough. His shot actually looks pretty similar. And his physical looks similar. He's five overall less, though. But he's got a lot more time to grow. Uh, you know what? We're going to do that. I'm just going to do it and not come back to it because I know I'll be sitting there all day. This is going to be a long... I can tell. It's going to be a long video. Let's go up to Florida here. See what we've got available. I keep seeing that come up as high top four and I get so excited. So we've got it. At some point, we've got to take somebody who's established in the NHL. Um, because we do need to get to the salary barrier. Um, we could just take Demers. I don't want to take UC Yoken and I don't think. Yeah, we'll come back to this because it, it might just be one of those, uh, you know, just sign Demers. Have him play as a two-way guy in the first line. Help out one of our guys coming up. Good defense awareness. I mean, could definitely keep somebody from going in the negative. 
especially on the top four units. Um, Petrovic might actually be kind of cool too. He's got decent defensive awareness and shot blocking. But another defensive defenseman. That's what I don't want to go super deep into. It's kind of scary. But a uh, potential guy or established guy to get up to the cap floor. I don't know. The cap hits only $4 million. We have $70 million available, guys. <laughs> LA Kings. Let's do it. Okay. Martinez, Gabrick, Aginla. A lot of old names here. A lot of guys that would be really nice. I mean, I think we should just sign Martinez. That's a pretty good uh, overall. Unless they've got some elite crazy dude in goal that we could sign. Yeah, no. Let's just get Martinez, and that can anchor our whole team around. Two-way guy. 29. I mean, he could, he could even be our captain. Play until he's 35 or something. Just be the leader until the rebuild's over. Or we could trade him because he probably has good trade value. It's actually a pretty good one. I wish, um, man, if this was, you know, five years ago. Ooh, okay, we got to take this elite. Broden. Brodeen. As, as is said. Yeah, there's there's nobody else. I mean, I wish these two guys could be on different teams because taking uh, Jason Zucker, or Zucker, as they say sometimes, would be pretty cool. Yep. Got to do it. When you see an elite, you just got to do it. Yep. Nice. Okay, two elites so far. So we're coming up here. And these guys could be partners too, which is awesome. So that, that'd be our first tandem. That team's coming together, boys. Team is coming together. Okay, they want to give up Markov here. Anybody? Dano. Dano might be a good shot. Shaw might be kind of cool, actually. A grinder. Third liner. I mean, that'd be a great third liner. I'll check this out. Nestroff. High. Top six. Offensive defenseman. Yeah, I like that more. Let's do that because we can trade him for way more than Shaw or Dano. Yeah, his trade value is going to be higher. Especially if we keep him on for a year. He gets up to about 80. Ooh, yeah. Let's do that. That's going to... And he, yeah, he's got two more years. Let's definitely do that. No problem at all. Defensive core is coming together. Okay, where were we? Yeah, God, I hate how it goes back because I forget where we are. Awesome. Okay, we have four defensemen so far. We're about halfway through the league, right? Um, Dehan... Yeah, he's going to cap off there. Might be a good trade value, though. I'm looking at this guy, though. Ryan Pollock. Right-handed, top four defenseman. That's just another defenseman. I think we do it, though, because he's got a lot more time to grow. Yeah, we got to do that, I feel like. Wait, how? what's the overall Pollock? Oh, 82. Yeah, let's just do a pull-out guy because he's got some time to grow. Definitely can be a good asset for trading if need be or to build around in the future. So we're just kind of jumping through it now as you guys can kind of see. I'm getting a little worried about the length here. Top six forward, I think we might have to go with Bumpel. Fast would be kind of cool. Some of these guys have one year left and I've seen them like Peary fast i've seen them go to to free agency after the first year yeah let's just do a uh, pupil here and get a uh left wing sniper of the future top six guy hopefully we can get up to at least the low 80s in the next year year and a half oh that's pretty cool it's showing me my uh centers my wingers so look at my defenseman here that could be our, our sixth defenseman if we really wanted to. But I think some of them... That's looking good in goal, though. I just need a real starter so we can uh, we can get our elite guy some backup time so he doesn't you know cap off at a bad overall. Um, Ekholm, now... Um, how about this guy here? Pontus Aberg, right? Yeah. Right-wing sniper. 
I think we could do with him. He'd be pretty cool. Any goaltenders? Fringe starter? I don't need that, I don't think. I just want to do three because we can always sign other ones. We've got our uh, our elite. Yeah, let's do Pontus Aberg. He can help out. We also got to sign some like solidified overall guys for the forward unit so these young guys don't just cap off with nothing. Kind of like Martinez is going to help out that unit. On D, um, I see Smith Pelly. That would be pretty cool actually green would be fun <laughs> take him away make him captain um yeah i think we sh yeah not really anybody um except smith pelly yeah, and wedgewood's not really much in that way um he's 24 so yeah i think i'd rather do smith pelly we get some physicality right wing yeah, why not? He's got a decent... He's got a, a couple decent stats, so th that should be fine. We can throw him up there. Man, this is coming together. I'm really excited. Can't wait to coach these boys. Um, Zingle. MacArthur might be kind of cool on the left wing. I don't know about Burroughs. Could sign Chris Neal. Yeah, not much to pick from. I'm thinking just MacArthur. We can put him on the, uh, who's, uh, oh, Condon. Yeah, we could just have MacArthur be, like, our first, a first or second liner. Top nine, third, checking center. Actually, let's do this guy, because he'll be up to 80 and be kind of the same type of player as MacArthur. Yeah, let me just look real quick. Yeah, their stats are very similar. It just looks like Zingle is just like a few overall below which he is he's two overall below so yeah he'll be he'll be a better player i feel like in a year and he can play like third line center or something that, that that'd be no problem at all are you guys getting anno annoyed as i am with this jumping back oh my god philly let's see if anybody worth it is available um okay scott lawton might be pretty cool left wing two-way guy He's already a fourth line or two. He has good face-offs, too, so we could always steer him towards center if we needed him. Um, 77 overall isn't too bad either. I'm just looking for overalls right now, so I'm going quick through that. Uh, we could also get Gudas. They have Neuwirth, too, and Stolarz, but I think we've got our goalie sealed up. Might even just grab Howard, but that, cause that contract doesn't look too bad with how much cap space we need to uh, fill. Especially for the little period in between. Uh, yeah, definitely. Because Gudas, as good of a player he, as he is, I just I love his aggressiveness and everything. Lawton is just going to be a better pick. So, yeah, let's grab him. For the future. Just a lot of these guys are trade assets. Remember that. Just, you know, don't get too attached to a lot of them. As much as we want to plan around all these guys to build a team, you know, at the end of the day, it's about... Why is Daly on the uh, the Penguins? Have they not updated that? That sucks. That's really annoying, actually. Uh, Dumoulin, that looks awesome. Top 4D, defensive defenseman. Now, that's a defensive defenseman I would grab. About a year and a half more growth. And look, Kunitz is here, too. What the heck? Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with that defenseman. Dumoulin. Yeah, no goalies. Hmm, interesting. Um, Pouliot might be actually a better choice offensive. Ah, that's tough. I know Dumoulin only has about a year more growth, maybe two. Medium versus low, but two years difference. Pretty big overall difference, though. Dumoulin could play this year. Pouliot would, could probably play next year, top six but he's offensive and one's defensive. I think we picked the offensive guy, put him in the AHL because Dumoulin is going to have a bad plus minus as a defensive guy, and that's probably going to bring him down. Even though his defensive stats are great, like shot blocking, stick checking, and defense awareness looks awesome. His physical category looks really good, and he's only going to get better in the next year or two. But Pouliot is offensive, so he's going to be scoring goals, growing in the AHL, tearing it up 
and he comes in the NHL the following year in top six minutes. Maybe we put him on the power play. He grows. And then in the following year, he's up at like 81, just like Dumoulin. And he's got two years left to grow, whereas Dumoulin has about one, one and a half. Yeah, let's go with Pouliot. Let's just grab him. Might have been a bad choice there. Let me know. Let me know down below. Coach always wants to hear. San Jose. So we're getting near the end here. It's been pretty good so far. Um, Dylan, we could get Martin. Carlson at center. Tierney. All these guys would be pretty cool, actually. Um. Yeah, nobody there. Carlson at center. Melker Carlson. He's a center, but he's got terrible face-offs. Pretty good defense awareness, though. Physical category is decent. I think we just have enough of those type of guys. So we could grab... You know what? We're going to come back. Sorry, guys. We're going to have to come back to that one. Because... Okay, we got a... F yeah, we only got a few more teams, but there's a few... Quite a few more picks we need to make. Um, Berglund, right winger. Could get this uh, Jaskin guy. Left wing sniper, top nine. He's already a fourth liner, so we'd have to play him too. What about Tyratty, right wing sniper, 24. But way less overall. So I think, yeah, if we did, we'd have to pick this guy. What about goaltenders? Nah. Um, or we could just get Berglund. You know, somebody who can work right now with the kids on the second line. It's just like the the amount of difference between the two. I know Berglund's a two-way guy. These two are snipers. But what about this guy? Medium defensive defenseman top six. Oh, man. I was just saying I don't want to pick up too many more defensive defensemen. But I kind of want to get this guy for the bottom pairing oh that top nine though high top nine could be good for trade value and so could this guy oh it's so hard guys it's so hard it's so hard to choose i'm gonna do the defenseman i know we can find defensemen in free agency so we could always trade them shouldn't be a big deal but he's already eight overall we might hit a diamond in the rough Okay, Coburn, yeah, more defensemen, Paquette, again, yeah, this might just be a, a depth team, yeah, looking like a depth team, so let's just come back when we need to uh, make a pick, I think I can go the other way, I don't know why I'm going this way, Toronto, let's see what you guys got for me, I know I got a lot of Toronto fans, Marcinin, or Marcinin, Morrison. Yeah, I don't think we'd be going for him. Want me to take Lupul's contract, guys? Seth Griffith, uh, Levo might be kind of cool. Connor Brown. Um, yeah, maybe Connor Brown actually. He twenty three, right winger. Decent defense awareness for his overall, I'd say. Could be better. He's pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, because I'm not picking up, like, Martin or one of those guys. Yeah, let's just do it. Connor Brown, that'll be good. Can I go this way? Oh, I actually can't. That's annoying. Um, Vancouver. I can't see too many guys coming out of this place. What's uh, What's it look like here? Butcher or Boucher. Uh, might be pretty good. He's a depth forward right now, so we could always place him on the uh, AHL squad. Right winger. He could definitely help them. This guy's the same overall, but he's got high bottom six. Might be better trade value, and he's two-way. Yeah, I think we're going to go for him unless they have a goaltender. Ryan Miller, one year, six mil. That might actually be a good choice. Unless we just wanted to get Howard. Oh, Padan. Is this the uh, Andre Padan? 
Yeah, I think let's go with uh, let's go with this dude. High over uh, high potential, and uh, 76. We can place him in the AHL. Actually, he's fourth liner. Okay, we well whatever. We'll play him down there. I'd rather have a two-way guy, left winger, than a sniper on the fourth line. Um, and who knows? We could always we could always trade trade these guys away. No problem at all. Washington. Carl Alsner. I think we've already got our solidified guys. Yeah, Williams is on this team too. There must not have been an update here. Um, Shattenkirk looks like they want to get rid of him. Wilson, I think, would be a good pick. Tom Wilson, right wing grinder. That'd be a guy we could have on the team for a long time. Beagle's really good at uh, face-offs. Might be kind of cool. Any goaltenders? Grabauer. Okay, th this guy goes on free agency, though. We could always pick him up in free agency the first year. And, uh, I mean, he is a starter at this point, though. So that could be our starter with our backup, and then we just trade Grabauer away. But, like you guys say, he goes to free agency the first year. So if we could get Wilson out of it and then just get Grabauer the next year... And then we'd have another trade asset. I think that's a better deal. So, yeah, let's get Wilson. And then we'll go for uh, that trade at a later date. Winnipeg. And then we'll go back to all these guys we left out. Uh, Tyler Myers. I don't know about that. Yeah, we got to pick a few more defensemen, though. So, maybe. Mm. Cop or Coop? Wait. Isn't... Uh, doesn't... Cosmachuk get pretty good. Two A guy. His stats don't really indicate it right now, but he might get pretty good. High top six is nice though, but he's so old. Tyler Myers. Anybody in the uh nah, not really anybody in the goaltender department. Um, we could just pick up Myers. Throw him on the squad. Because I don't want to cloud the bottom six with, like, a bunch of snipers and all these these guys. So, yeah, let's just grab Myers because we could just trade him immediately if we really wanted to. Um, might be a little difficult, but it's it's just kind of, like, we could get, like, maybe a second or a third round for him. And that's, that's a win for me. Um, okay, Tampa Bay Lightning. What do we need? We need forwards, basically. Um, okay, let's just grab... Yeah, I think we were saying Brown. Or I was thinking it, maybe. Paquette might actually be a better choice. Center grinder, but he's got terrible face-offs. Um, again, time again. Oh, man, this team does not want to give up decent players. I just don't think GT Brown's going to have enough time to get good. I like him as a player, though. Yeah, let's just get... Uh... Uh, it's tough. Let's just get Paquette, because he's got a longer time to grow. He can... You know, we could even trade him. I just I just can't see us uh, doing much with anybody else on this, this squad. We'll go to Anaheim. See what's uh, here that I left out. Vatanen. Okay. You guys want me to just grab Vatten, and I'm sure it's... Yeah, I don't want to grab any of those guys. Yeah, let's just do Vatten. We could trade him if we need to. He can always uh, always be on the squad, too. Especially if he's going to grow a little bit here. And uh, what are we going to do Coyotes-wise? Um, this guy looks pretty good. Burmistroff. Left-wing playmaker. I mean, I'd have him, honestly, on, like, the third line or second or third line with, like, how our uh, how everything looks here. Uh, it's so tough. Yeah, let's just do Burmistrov. He's 25. It's probably a better pick than anybody else I was going to go with. Um, we could just do Bogosian here because I think, yeah, they don't have anybody I need. Um... What about this? Uh, yeah, let's just do Bogosian. And we can stick him up there. There's just a few guys we'd need to trade almost immediately. And we could get somebody at least decent for the uh, for the future. I'm just trying to pick people now that are higher overall and 
we could trade pretty easily. It just sucks because all these guys are defensemen. Uh, Who would you guys pick here? Probably this guy, right? He's 22. Two-way right winger, Emily Poirier. Yeah, let's do it. That might actually be a good pick for the future. Yeah, let's do that. Right winger, we need it too. Okay, so we're five out of five for both the wings. We just need more centers. Carolina want to yield us something. Um, Stepniak, uh, Nestrasil. Yeah, he's not growing too much. Did they have any goaltenders? They wanted to give a ward, but yeah, nobody else. Um, Might just have to grab Nordstrom here. Joachim Nordstrom. See, I'd rather have one of these depth guys be a two-way guy. We could just throw in the AHL. But that might... Uh, we could grab this guy. 23 left winger, two-way forward. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do that there. Ooh, I love looking at that medium elite backup goaltender. That is not bad at all. Um, Roussel, no. Dang, this team does... Yeah, this... Uh, Kari Lenton and Niemi, they want to give up everybody? Yeah, no. We're just going to have to pick up a, a forward here. What could we do here? Because we got our backup. I want to play our elite. So we're going we're gonna to need like a solidified starter that he can play behind and learn from. So that's my biggest concern. Um, we could just pick up another one of these defenders. But... Dang, I really... Or this McKenzie guy. What about McNeil? Power center. Okay, we need another center. He's got actually decent face-offs. 73 overall. Yeah, let's do this guy. Because he can be in our AHL squad. That'll be fine. And I'm thinking we just grab Howard here. I, I can't see us grabbing. I mean, we could grab Ouellette. Three more years, medium top six. He's already a top six defensive defenseman, though. It just scares me if we... Because we could always get somebody of, like, basically his overall and everything in, in free agency, his even his potential. And then if we grab a starter like Howard, who's 82 overall, who's going to get a share of the minutes, and we could trade him next deadline. He's not going to lose too much overall. And he's going to share pretty much all the starts. He is a backup goalie role, though. That sucks. Was there any other teams that had starters? No, San Jose didn't. Um, I think the Capitals actually did with Grabauer. That just sucks because Grabauer does become... Uh, Maybe we should just do Grabauer instead. Can I do that? I don't know if it let me do that. Oh, it did. Okay, let's just do that. And you guys who were mad at me earlier for not picking him up, you guys can be happy now, and then we can pick up a let. Because Howard, it's tough. Like, EA does not like Howard, I feel like, because he always simulates really terribly. And we'll get a let here. He can maybe play top six minutes, but I don't know. We've got 11 defensemen. I didn't, I didn't even want 10, you know. So um, got to get another right winger now. At least, you know, if we want it to be pretty consistent here. I uh, don't need any of those guys. Um, no. Dang. Not really anybody here. We could just get UC Yokinen. Yeah, because I don't want I don't want to get Reimer or Barra. Dang. Anybody else in the decent overall? Uh, I hate thinking that I'm, like, throwing away a pick, but I really don't need any more defensemen. Ah, uh, I know we could trade. Dang. Is this going to be... UC Yokinen. I really don't want to, like, throw away a pick. Petrovic. Like, if I get him, we can just trade him almost immediately. So let's just do that. I don't know if it'll make me... It'll, like, punish me for doing that. Could just get Joel Ward right here. That'd be kind of funny. She need more centers. 
just get Tierney, actually. Yeah. This guy could play right now in the NHL. Yeah, okay. I'll do it. Anybody else here? Okay. I think we should be good. We've got our three goaltenders. We've got everybody. Okay. All right. Well, hey, we did it. Can I uh, finish draft? Nice. Um. Or, yep. Submit the draft picks. Cool. Okay. Yeah, that Tom Wilson one might have been weird, but just seeing Olette on the table and then potentially signing Jimmy with the three-year contract, and he's already 33. I was just like, Grabauer would be a better choice. He's higher overall already. He's going to get better, and then our elite can come up in true fashion. We could trade Grabauer as like a solidified starter, get way more out of him than we could out of Wilson or Howard probably put together. So check that out. We gained a ton of locker room chemistry because there's actually a locker room with people in it now. And there we go. So I'm not going to do the draft today. Um, this dragged on for a long, long time. So we definitely don't want to do that to you guys. Um, we'll do that in the next episode. So I think we're going to be going back and forth. We're going to like upload a Red Wings GM and then we'll upload a Pumpkins GM or Ghouls. And then we'll upload Red Wings, Ghouls, Red Wings, Ghouls. And then eventually we'll do the fantasy one out of all the teams. We'll build a team from that and it'll be a three-peat. We'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Over and over and over. So much content, you can't even handle it. So there it is. What did you guys think? Did we kind of play it pretty safe? Do you think we built a smart team? Do we go too overboard on young guys for this uh, draft in particular? Or do you think we did a pretty good job considering what we had to pick from? Um, I think we did a pretty good job. And I think this team, especially if we make some of those key trades, more picks, solidified players in the next couple of years, things like that, I think we'll be a force to reckon with, I think, even in about three years, um, especially with these two elites that we got from the expansion draft for free. And just think more and more. We have the fourth pick this year. You can always trade up, get another guy. Um, I'm not necessarily sure what we need to draft. I would say maybe a really good maybe defenseman prospect or a really, really, really good forward. Like I would love to draft a first line center like Valeno or something that can just be that elite. So maybe trade up to the second pick. I don't know. Um, but one of these guys we picked up can definitely be used for that and uh you know who knows but valeno this year that would be so good we picked him up in the red wings gm he would be amazing for the ghouls to pick up and then all of a sudden our build it's not even a rebuild it's just a build is underway completely so thank you guys for watching make sure to like and subscribe if you liked it and dug it and we'll see you next time out on the ice.